Yeah. Unless you're a vegetarian. I'm not vegetarian, but I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, Mix, you want some pizza? We've got a vegetarian situation. Hi, I'm Laquisha St. Redfern. Welcome to A Taste of Laquisha. We're here at Tommy Millions with some delicious pizza and the Deputy Wizard of Christchurch and his good friend, the Pixie. Yep. Have I got your names right? Yep. yep. I, well, I have many names, so that's one of them. Yes. Uh, are your other names safe for um, television? They oh, are very yeah. safe. Yeah, Ari. Ari. Ari the wizard, Deputy Wizard of Christchurch. Ari the Deputy Wizard of Christchurch. And, and I'm um, Pixie Pocket is my business name, and Lily Peas Blossom is my fairy name, and yeah. then Charlotte Benfield is my human name. Yeah. She has a few personas going on. Oh yes, I can relate to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, people from America and our other international guests might not know, but actually we have a state wizard. It's like sanctioned yeah. by the government. We have a wizard of New Zealand. He turned up in Christchurch, which is the largest city of the South Island in 1974, originally from uh, Suffolk. And he likes to do a lot of rants about uh, how he feels the world should work. And he teases people quite a lot. So we should probably tell people that he climbs on a ladder to do these rants mm. in the town square. That's right. So if you're going down to enjoy your pizza and have a nice time in the sun, you might get ranted at by the wizard. Oh yes, and everyone participates and it's all a good show. Uh, he's had many achievements. He declared himself a public work of art, uh, was on loan to an art gallery. He's renounced uh, Oh my God. social security number. I'm totally doing that by the way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You heard it here. I'm a public worker of art. You yeah. can pop at any time, check myself in as a national treasure, you know, I'll come see you on Monday. And in 1992, I think, he was declared Wizard of New Zealand by the Prime Minister, Mike Moore. So this shows that you can have an alternative career. If you live in a crazy little island at the bottom of the South Pacific. That's right. Now if it's a fun idea and you try hard enough and people go along with it and you care about what works, then magic can be real. It's so thing. true, you don't need to know the secret, you just come to New Zealand and live the dream, right? <laughs> so the Wizard of New Zealand is 82 now, oh and God. so I decided... Is he still going up the ladder? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. still climbing oh. trees. Wow. So I, um, what he and I together decided that I would help um, lead, take it from being one person to being a tradition. So we have up to eight or nine wizards that go out at a time. Oh my goodness, so do you all go to the square and stand on ladders? No, we each have different talents. So I'm a musical wizard, so I, we do shows. We put on shows and I perform oh, I as a wizard and, and playing electric you, guitar and that sort of thing. Do you play electric guitar? No, no, no. no, no she no. does um, fit, uh, a lot of different costumes. Yeah, I do. I'm a Professionally, I'm a 1950s style wedding dressmaker. Oh wow. And then, um, I also run um, a fairy group in Christchurch, which kind of goes along with the wizards. And then I also, yeah, so those are my, my hobbies and my job, so. Do you have any hints for us girls with like, because I can't wear fifties clothes because I've got no waist. Right. Like, you know, like a good plastic surgeon or some kind of illegal <laughs> procedure I could have out the back of a van, you know. Well, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of money. One of my best tips is get a really massive 1950s style petticoat yeah. and then like the bigger the better oh. and then it just gives the look like, oh my god <laughs> sorry i probably ruined the volume but, uh, but it works so well and i have i have like a whole collection of them and you can layer them up so like you could have a white petticoat with a pink petticoat with a hot pink petticoat on <laughs> <laughs> lost, lost one. <laughs> Yeah. I don't believe in doing anything Oh my god, that's not fantastic. I love that. So I'm just going to get like 10 petty coats. Yeah. It's a, yeah, yeah, you can have excellent. a 45 degree. Maybe 11. <laughs> what advice would you give a young boy yeah. or girl or others uh, who yes. wanted to um, get into being a wizard or a fairy? Yeah, be motivated by fun rather than an agenda. And yeah, do a lot of reading, find out as much as you can, and be skeptical of everything. Do you have a book? Do I have a book? Like a spell book? Ah. Uh, well, I do, I, do, I do magic through music. Ah. Which I consider a spell because it's actually at a distance. So would you um, be willing to uh, maybe play us a little magical music? Yeah, yeah. yeah if you give me a moment to set up, I'll play you something. Oh, I can hold that. Okay. <laughs> Well, through the magic of television, or more possibly YouTube, um, we're back with a guitar, and we're going to have some magical music. Yeah, what are you going to uh, magic up for us? I'm going to play some blues. Some bl magical blues. Superstitious, but I can't just cross my 
<laughs> Thank oh you God. very much. That was totally magical. I felt magic. <laughs> Hey, it's been great meeting um, the wizard, Deputy Wizard of New Zealand. Is that? Yeah, um, yeah, Christchurch. The Deputy Wizard of Christchurch and Pixie, the fairy. And I'm with Quisha St. Redfern, and we're outside Tommy Millions eating pizza. But not Pixie because she's a vegetarian, so I gave her pizza away. And uh, we'll see you next time on A Taste of a Quisha. Mm. <laughs>